Ladies and gentlemen from Staples Center in Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions presents the first of our world title attractions brought to you by MGM Resorts, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and Lucas Oil. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the president, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, who appoints our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Jeremy Hayes, and Zachary Young. All right, fans, here we go, 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with red trim, hailing from Gulastan Crimea. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his young campaign in the professional ranks with a record of seven wins, no losses, six wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the decorated amateur champion and 2016 Olympian and the current undefeated world rank contender, introducing Batir Ahmedov. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, this 12-round vacant championship. Wearing brown trunks with gold trim, fighting out of it, representing the beautiful city of San Antonio, Texas. He weighed in at the super lightweight limit of 140 pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 24 wins, no losses, and 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his first attempt at a world title, please welcome the undefeated world ranked super lightweight contender, introducing Mario El Azteca. And referee in charge now to give instructions, introducing Jerry Cantu. Chief Second, fighter, Chief Second. <clears throat> Gentlemen, you are giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch him up. Good luck to both of you. Good luck, huh? Tail of the tape, Barrios, 24 years of age. Akhmedov is 28. Barrios with the two and a half inch height advantage, reach advantage as well. Both fighters unbeaten. Barrios 24 and 0. Akhmedov is 7 and 0. Scheduled for 12 rounds for the vacant WBA World Super Lightweight Championship. Are you ready? Are you ready? Please, All right, away we go. Barrios and Akhmedov. Akhmedov in the white trunks with red trim. Barrios at five foot ten. Akhmedov, five foot seven and a half inches tall. Barrios said, "I'm preparing for a hard 12-round fight." Filling out process early. <laughs> One minute in, first round scheduled for 12 here in Los Angeles. Barrios, I've actually seen him box a couple times, and he's a serious uh, competitor. He goes out there nice and tight with his defense. He's always throwing great punches, and I'm surprised that he wants to go uh, 12 rounds because his last couple fights have just been knockouts. So he's he's got that knockout power. Well, he's with Virgil Hunter, who's going to be a Hall of Fame trainer, you know, former uh, trainer of Andre Ward and uh, many others. And uh, right now, under Virgil's tutelage, Mario Barrios is 8 0 with eight knockouts. So he may talk about going the distance, going rounds, but he's a knockout puncher, especially now that he's been hooked up with, uh, with Virgil. Okay. Virgil Hunter, the 2013 Trainer of the Year. Joe mentioned their great success since coming together.
first world title fight for Barrios. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Eight, throw bout for Akhmedov. Thirty seconds remaining in round one. Good left uppercut by Barrios right there as Akhmedov uh, 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 was making a turn. Now on Akhmedov's corner, he's got the Diaz brothers. He's got Julio, uh, uh, Joel, and Antonio Diaz. Three great trainers out of Coachella Valley. Seconds, they're very really excited about uh, Akhmedov here. So he's only got seven pro fights, which is unusual to be in a title fight like this. But we'll see where it goes. He'll speak many different languages in his corner, English, Spanish, and Russian. Rick, you're probably going to have to come on this side to get the stool. Good job. Stay on point. You're seeing everything, right? He's doing a lot of posture, a lot of move, unnecessary move his head. You just keep this pointed on the target. And you counter just like you do. Keep that jab on him. Make him deal with that, okay? Doesn't have to get him clean all the time. But make him deal with it, okay? When you get a chance, start dropping that right hand down to the body, okay? That court shot. Nice turns on the inside. Real nice. That was your round. Stay focused. Stay focused. You know he in a fight now. Watch Barrio here. Nice left uppercut. Catching him right on the bottom of the chin. Good right hand. Quick right left uppercut. That was a wake-up call for uh, Medoff, believe you me. That was a, a sharp left up with that. Round two, scheduled for 12. First scheduled 12 round fight for Akhmedov. 2016 Olympian. Represented Turkey, advanced to the quarterfinal round in Rio. You know, it's going to take a little bit for Barrios to figure out the southpaw style right now. Akhmedov's got a lot of head movement. He's, uh, he's, he's making himself a hard target to hit right now. It's a good right hand by uh, Barrios right off the bat there. He's got the longer reach, so uh, as uh, Akhmedov comes in, he's going to be vulnerable to catching uh, a good right hand from Barrios. We haven't seen uh, Akhmedov really getting close yet to see what he can do. I know when he gets on the inside, he likes to like to turn his opponent a lot and punch off those turns, but he's having a hard time getting in close yeah, to Barrios. He's trying to he's trying to actually figure him out right now. I'm surprised he's not using his feet because in his past fight he had great footwork. Well, you know what, Lennox, you're right, you're right. But he waits until he gets on the inside before he makes those turns. You know. Uh, see right there. You saw what he did. He got right behind the left hand of Barrios once he got in close here. And you're exactly right. He's really good at that too. I don't know. We watched film on this guy, and and we saw that when uh, he got in close. And it, but see, you got a guy here with a much longer reach. He's got a 71 inch reach, Mario Barrios, against a, a, a 68 inch reach. So, you know, he's got a few inches on him there, and, and he's much taller. And and this is a, a this is a hard thing for uh, Akhmedov to get inside right now. And when you talk about the footwork, Virgil Hunter. And Barrios corner told us that the Barrios cannot take this opportunity lightly and he mentioned the good feet of Akhmedov. Yeah. Well, because he watched the same film we did. It, of course, sometimes you make the mistake of watching your opponent fight inferior guys that it makes the, your opponent look better and it puts a little fear in you. But right now he's in with a real sharp, tall, uh, oh, good left hook, which, oh, they're calling it a slip. Jerry Cantu's calling it a slip. But, it was a left hook that landed by Barrios right there. Twenty seconds remaining in round two. Heidi Andrew and Felix De Jesus. 
Thank you very much. While well, here with Luis Ortiz, it's been announced November 23rd, Las Vegas will be the scene of the rematch with you and the Bronze Bomber. What can you take away from that first fight that's going to make you better this time around? Ya se anunció que la pelea va a ser el 23 de noviembre eh, en Las Vegas, en el MGM. ¿Qué tú puedes sacar de lo que pasó en la primera pelea para esta segunda pelea que se aproxima? A todas las la experiencias eh, que, que ya sucedieron quedan en el pasado. Solamente me quedo con las ganas aquella de, de lo que me faltó y la llevo en mi mente para, para hacerla el, el, el día 23 de noviembre. Yeah, whatever experience we had in that fight, we're basically uh, leaving that in the past. Now what we're going to take to this fight is something brand new, and the experience is just something that you have to deal with, but it's going to be uh, a little better this time around. You guys had a press conference today. Anything said that surprised you? ¿Tuvieron una conferencia de prensa hoy? ¿Algo que te sorprendió? No, 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 para nada. Wilder es una persona que sabe hablar. Él, él sabe que, 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 él sabe que, que, él, que yo tengo deseo de pelear y él sabe todo y no, no soy hombre de estar hablando y sabe que él, entre nosotros dos, un dos asalto no va a haber. Yeah, I'm not a man to talk a lot. So Wilder knows he speaks well, and he knows that anything can happen in a 12 round. So uh, I don't talk a lot either. So we just have to talk with our fist uh, come November 23rd. That's right, and we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for taking the time. Kenny, guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Heidi. Thanks, Felix. November 23rd on pay-per-view from Las Vegas, the rematch. The champ, Deontay Wilder, and Luis Ortiz, who suffered his only loss as a professional at the hands of Wilder back in Brooklyn in March of 2018. And in the co-main event, November 23rd, Leo Santa Cruz and Miguel Flores. That was a really smooth combination that Mario Barrios just threw right there. His defense is really tight. Uh, Akhmedov is trying all the little tricks, like that little spin move right there. It's not working for him. Barrios is blocking two, three punches at a time, then coming back with his own. Nothing's really landing hard and flush yet, but, you know, it's still early right now. Terrell Benavides coming up. WBC World Super Middleweight title bout. As Benavides looks to reclaim his belt in our co-main event. That will be followed by the main event here in Los Angeles. Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter welterweight unification bout. Spence the IBF champ. Porter owns the WBC championship belt. Barry is doing some good combination punching right there. Good short uppercuts inside as he gets inside. There it goes again. Good three punch combination by Barry. And, yet, and as of yet, you know, uh, uh, Akhmedov has really not, not landed anything of substance so far, with the exception of maybe that little left hand right there. But uh, Barrios has been uh, actually landing the right hand, like you said. Not so much the left, but the right hand. He landed that good left uppercut in the first round, but we haven't seen that yet. See, those are all body shots he's landed right there. Really nice by Barrios. So sometimes a southpaw like this is hard to hit in the head, and you got to go to the body. Number one, to slow him down. One or number two, to get him to drop his hands a little bit and be a little bit more vulnerable. Because uh, Akhmedov is, uh, you can tell, he's a cagey guy. He's, he's, he's 28 years old. He's been around. He's an Olympian. Final seconds of round three from Staples Center in Los Angeles. Mario Barrios and Batir Akhmedov for the WBA World Super Lightweight Belt. Coming up next in our co-main event, a look at Anthony Durrell, the two-time WBC Super Middleweight Champ, looking to win back the belt, 22-year-old David Benavides, unbeaten at 21-0 and 0 in his professional career. I'm excited about this fight coming up. I think, uh, you know, Benavidez is, is a sharp puncher and great combination punch as well with power. Oh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a great fight before the fight. And Anthony Durrell is a cagey fighter. Very cagey, very slick, great counter puncher. 
wrong. He's got a lot of tricks in, in, in his bag. Uh, but Benavides, he's a real, he's a real dynamo. He's, he's a stalker and a combination puncher, a short puncher, and um, a, a volume puncher. He's really good. He's a 22-year-old uh, dynamo. This is round four for the WBA World Super Lightweight title. Oh, oh, oh stun Doc Bell yeah. fair. Oh, middle of shaking on his legs right now. Now, when Barrios has guys in this position, he usually takes them out. So yeah. we're going to see if he's going to be able to take Akbanov off. Oh, oh, oh stun! He tucks that off. Floor. That was a double hook. The first one landed, the second one landed on top of his head and really Six. hurt him. Seven. Eight. Walk toward me. You all right? Virgil's yelling, trying to get Mario Barrios' attention, but he's he's not really heeding it. And you know, sir, in those positions, you're just focused on the guy. You're watching the guy. Is he shaky? Is, is he shaky on his legs or what? So Heidi Antrell of the Barrios Court. Thank you very much, Kenny. Virgil, I saw you trying to get Mario Barrios' attention. What were you trying to tell him? I want him to stay steady. He heard the guy, he buzzed the guy, but I don't want him to go crazy and think he's ready to go. I want him to stay steady and get another shot through. He already hurt the guy, so the guy knows he can hurt him, and so he's going to show more respect with Mario now. Thanks, Virgil. Kenny? All right, thanks very much, Heidi. With and Virgil Hunter in the Barrios well, quarter. Virgil's right, because the worst thing you can do is, is you know that you hurt a guy and then rush in there and a wounded animal is most dangerous and you run into something big. I've seen that happen too. Just like right now, you see the guy coming back, but he's gonna get clipped. And you, you know, a lot of boxers don't have that poise to be able to be steady on their legs and chill just for a moment, just to kind of see what happens instead of rushing in there and trying to take the guy out. Very true, but uh, Akhmedov, he, he really tried to mount a comeback right there. Left his chin up and got hit with a good right hand, but you know he, he took that one. It was that left hook on top of the head that really put him down. And, and Barrios is listening to Virgil Hunter right now. He's taking his time. You know this is only the fourth round of a 12-round fight. No doubt he's looking to hurt Akhmedov again, somewhere along the line. Seconds remaining oh. in round four. Akmedov has uh, really recovered well, but he took a couple of nice body shots and then a left hook, the same left hook that dropped him earlier in the round. This is where this is where it's a knockdown because once your gloves hit the ground, the referee has to come in and call. This is that double hook right there. See the second yeah. one hit him on the temple. That's what knocked him off uh, Kilger and dropped him. The gloves hit the ground. That's a knockdown. Mario Barrios, 24 years of age from San Antonio, Texas, called this the biggest opportunity of his career. Steady on for me, okay? He's gonna try to come a little more, but he's gonna be reckless. He gotta be reckless to try to get to you. He can't outbox you. So you're looking for the right shots. Stay steady. Round five, scheduled for 12. Back over to Heidi Andro. Heidi. Side to side in. Thank you very much, Joel. What did you say to Batir entering this fifth round? I told him to be smart. He's he's jumping in a little reckless. That's why he got caught in the in the in the previous round. So now what we need to do is we need to execute that distance. He can't stay at the end of the punch. He needs to step inside and work inside. That's where he works the best, inside. 
Perfect. Thank you so much. Kenny, yeah. back to you. All right, thanks, Heidi. Joel Diaz in the corner of Bakir Akhmedov. You agree, Joe, with what you heard from Joel? Well, yeah, well, you, because he was trying to—he's been trying to get on the inside since since round one. It, it's just been closing the gap, and he paid the price trying to get in last round, and he got dropped. See, so there is a price to pay getting in. But if you keep your hands up, a good head movement, short punches, he might be able to get in. But now Barrios is boxing real nice. He's backing up, using his jab and movement. He just landed a nice left hook. Just landed another light left left hook. But again. Akhmedov is is absorbing it and starting to land his own punches here. This is what he needs to do. The Diaz brothers are right. Julio Diaz is right. He's got to press uh, Barrios and put him put him on the move. Barrios, you're right. He's doing a good job moving with his legs. You know, he's giving him different angles, so he's not making himself an easy target to get hit. Yeah, Barrios is turning out to be the guy that has the better angles on the inside than the guy that. Was supposedly the, the, the real phenom on the inside making these turns and you know, from the school of uh, uh, Lomachenko. Right, and St. Trino, you know, this is something we're not usually used to seeing from Barrios, especially in his last couple of fights. He's just been knocking guys out, but this is good to see him boxing a little bit. He's a really multi talented. I really like Mario Barrios. And he's gonna, yeah, providing he wins his title tonight, he's, he's gonna be a great champion. And, he, and, he's, and he's very young. He's he better keep that left hand up. He just got caught with a couple right hooks there. That's, yeah. So he has to be def defensive minded and, and, and bring his hands up a little bit higher. He's getting a little bit sloppy with his hands. You're right. He just got clipped again with a little left hand there, not the right hook, but the left hand this time. Now after 20 seconds remaining in round five, Mario Barrios and Batir Akhmedov for the vacant WBA World Super Lightweight Belt. Oh, left by Akhmedov, caught Barrios there. Our main event coming up later tonight on pay-per-view, Bobby Brown has Enter the Staples Center, embracing with Sean Porter, Julian Williams, 154-pound champ. Jared Hurd on hand, former unified 154-pound champion. And of course, the heavyweight champ, Deontay Wilder. We heard from Luis Ortiz earlier, along with Heidi and Felix. Wilder and Ortiz, the rematch on pay-per-view coming up from Las Vegas, November the 23rd. Co-main event is next. Anthony Durrell, David Benavides. And then Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter. Round six, Mario Barrios, Batir Akhmedov. Well, we're, we're entering the halfway point of his fight here in Akhmedov. He probably had his best round last round there. Um, but, you know, what was happening was Barrios was pulling out and making the turns with his hands down and getting clipped by Akhmedov. So he's got to be careful. Is he going to box? When you leave the pocket, you got to get your hands back up quick. Yeah, and it's important to know every time he's, he's moving, he's always moving in the same way. You got to mix up the movement when you're coming out of a clinch. Absolutely. And then, and then the other thing, uh, as I was watching it, sometimes you got to hold your ground with the guy that presses you. You don't always have to move, especially if you're the bigger puncher, which I think Barrios is the bigger puncher. Now, if you got Akhmedov sitting in front of you, see what happens. See if you can. You can hurt him with some short combinations before you get out and move around again. See, like right, right now. See, he's holding his ground a little bit. Then a nice little left uppercut. You got to get your hands back up quick. And then he turned and got out of the pocket. Well, look at the total punches landed, pretty even. 
you see Barrios, uh, Virgil Hunter didn't like it. Barrios turned southpaw on the inside there. Yeah, I was wondering why he did that. That was a defensive move because he's he's in close. He's been getting hit with that little chopper left hand. So he kind of tried to guard his right side by putting his right shoulder into the chest of uh, uh, Ahmedov. Oh, you're, you're right. You're right about standing your ground. Sometimes you have to stand your ground and, and not allow the other guy to push you back. It's what gave, it's really what gave Akhmedov the last round, in my opinion. So I, I don't mind boxing. He's doing well boxing, but see right there, he's, he's leaving the pocket with his hands down. And I'm talking about Barrios. You know, there's the old rule of thumb. You know, it, it's not how fast you get your punches out, it's how fast you get them back, because somebody's going to be throwing back at you right away. So when guys when guys usually do that, that means they, they they're not used to the southpaw. Yeah. And they do, they're adjusting right there in the ring, trying something that works for them. Exactly. And this is the disadvantage you have against a southpaw, especially you know a, a quick, fast-handed fighter like Akhmedov. Two unbeaten fighters as professionals, Mario Barrios, Batir Akhmedov. 20 seconds remaining. In round six for the vacant WBA World Super Lightweight Belt. So he barrels through that right hand and got caught with the right hook. Six rounds in the books. Merrill Spence Jr. Getting wrapped. Our main event, Spence Jr., Sean Porter. Coming up later tonight on pay-per-view from Staples Center. Spence, a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. Cowboys tweeted earlier, we are in your corner, Merrill Spence Jr. Of course, his last fight took place in Arlington, Texas. Take you back to our Twitter poll. What will be the outcome of tonight's main event? 41% say Spence by decision. 44% Spence by knockout. Only 9% Porter by decision. 6% Sean Porter by a knockout. Tweet your vote to at PBC on Fox. Joe, what did you think about those stats? Stats are stats. I, mean, I, <laughs> I, I you know, I, I, I wait for the fight, and you know, you can tell who's winning by watching. It. Right? Yes, I agree with that. Now, here we go. That was a good right hand, left uppercut from Mario Barrios as he stood back and uh, took a half step back and countered Akhmedov as he walked in. All right, so you said you could tell who's winning by watching it. You guys uh, both agree that Barrios has the edge so far over yes. the first six. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've only given one round so far. That was a nice left hand by Akhmedov right there. Or a left hand, I should say. But I I've only given Akhmedov one round so far. All right, Marcos Viegas, our unofficial scorer. How do you see it? Kenny, I have it 58 to 55 for Mario Barrios. I felt Akhmedov's had a last a good two rounds, uh, pressuring, uh, landing more. Than Barrios, but overall, because of the knockdowns, uh, Barrios is up big in this fight. All right, thanks, Barcos. 58 55 on Barcos' scorecard in favor of San Antonio native Barrio Barrios. You see Virgil's yelling, don't raise up, don't raise up to Barrios because he knows when he's pulling his head up and out, he's getting clipped a little bit. Akhmedov's a sharpshooter. He's, he's a very accurate puncher when he gets close enough to do so. Yeah, he's, he's definitely increased his volume. Now, there's punches. a big cut right now on Mario Barrios' left Well, he's eye. getting caught for no reason. And it seems like he's dropping, he's dropping back into something he's not supposed to be doing, and that's receiving punches. Well, right now, uh, there's a, a development, and I'm going to tell you, this is the problem with fighting southpaws. you got a lot of heads, bumping the heads on the inside. Punches that come from an opposite direction, which Barrio, Barrios is having to deal with right now. But he's got a cut. I'm not sure exactly where it is, if it's in the eyelid or in the eyebrow. But that's something that's going to have to be addressed in the corner. 
in the next minute or so. And could give an incentive to Akhmedov to really step on the gas a little bit, which he's doing right now. He's having a good second half of the fight in terms of putting on pressure. 30 seconds remaining in round seven. More pressure by Akhmedov. Yeah, Akhmedov is coming, coming forward and he's throwing a lot of punches, a lot more punches, and he's connecting with the punches. Yeah. They're, not, they're not missing. Well, the one who just missed right there was twice was Mario Barrios after that combination by Akhmedov. Punches, okay? Yeah. Keep turning with the hands up, uh, work from the body up, okay? You got me? Okay. Now you don't have to move as much as you, you think you do. Keep just turning, he's right in front of you, so keep making the short turns. Keep making the short turns, okay? And shorten up those punches, all right? Now put them together, you don't have to load up on that. It appears that was the punch that caused the cut right around the left eye of Barrios. Yeah, you've seen the cut. You've seen the cut. I mean, the blood coming right after that punch. Right away. Now, what's important was what Virgil Hunter just told Mario Barrios in the corner, which is kind of what we talked about earlier. You're pulling, you're pulling out. Your, hand, your head is up. Don't move so much. You don't have to move so much. You hold your ground a little bit. And then... If you have to turn, but keep your hands up when you turn. But don't move so much, but he's not quite listening yet. Let's see if he settles into this round where he gets a little work on the inside and sees if he can hurt Akhmedov. But right now, Akhmedov is, is gaining confidence in, in, his, uh, in his approach to, to Barrios here and is getting back in this fight. You know, when you, when, um, when you believe that Akhmedov is far away from you, he's he gets close to you because his feet are so fast, so he gets in there really fast before you put your hands up to protect yourself. So well, that's where the feet come in really uh, good track. That's off. right. Well, Akmeta's feet are fast, but that just means you have to have fast hands. No matter what he applies to you, you still have to beat him to the punch and catch him coming in. That's why your hands have to be up a bit, a bit higher. That's right. Very off. See. See, Virgil Hunter is telling him to stay in position, which means don't move so much. He's repeating it over and over again. Round eight scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA World Super Lightweight Belt. Both unbeaten fighters, 24-0 Mario Barrios, 7-0 Batir Akhmedov. than a minute left in this round and it's it's kind of an even round right now i think barrios probably has a, a slight advantage right now but akmedov is putting the pressure on and throwing punches and he may pull this round out and if he does this is going to be a very close fight going down the stretch in fact, i don't think this is something the barrios corner anticipated or virgil hunter no and very to work on that job where he didn't want to keep keep Down to 15 seconds remaining in round eight.
continue to work on the left eye area of Mario Barrios in his corner. Cut opened up back in round six. As we begin round nine, we check in once again with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Viegas. Kenny Batir Akmenov is back in this fight. I have him winning the last four rounds based on his activity, his great work on the inside. He's just outworking Barrios, and even when the rounds are a little close, he's just has a little bit more that he's landing on. Score right now 76 75, but I could see it being even closer. All right, thanks, Marcos. Akmenov has outlanded Barrios, uh, Lennox, and Joe in each of the last four rounds. Yeah, because he's, he's throwing punches yeah. and bunches. And uh, that's what you need to do when you get in close against Burris. You know, you gotta, you got to take advantage of that being in there. He's definitely putting the hustle on right now. And let me tell you something. He, I know he's in great shape. He's with the Diaz brothers. And they're tremendous trainers. And they're down in that heat in Coachella Valley. And they've got great sparring down there. And I'm, he, uh, Akhmedov is very well prepared for this fight right now. He had a little difficulty early, but he's really coming on strong in the second half of this fight. And it looks like Barrios is... Is starting to get hurt by these body shots that Akmedov is throwing as well. But he's slowing down a little bit right now. And Barrios needs to go back to the short punches that he was throwing early in the, in the beginning of the fight. Akmedov from Uzbekistan lives in Crimea. He is trained wow. here in California. Boy, Barrios just fell backwards with his hands down after yeah. with a couple of big shots right there to the belly. I, I didn't like that. No. Because uh -huh. he, he definitely left himself open. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. It looks like he's getting worn out from the movement, from the pressure, from the body shots, from Akhmedov. And uh, they cannot be very happy, Virgil Hunter, in that corner right now. Because this fight is slipping away from uh, Barrios right now. And he's such a great fighter that... Uh, you, you wouldn't expect him with a kid only seven and oh to come in here and, and do this to him until then. Now I'm not saying that the guy's gonna win the fight, but right now, oh, oh it's good right hand by Barrios. He's making a good fight of it and he's got himself in a very competitive fight with Barrios. And Benoff is making some mistakes though. He's coming in, he's kind of rushing him a bit too much. His hands is a bit down, he's getting caught coming in. Looks like he's willing to take those shots. The one or two shots like that to get his three, four, and five off and show the uh, judges that he's he's the one throwing punches, he's the effective aggressor, and he's he wants to fight. This is where Barrios needs to take his time and, and wait and throw his punches with accuracy. Because he's got that one punch power to knock you out. So it's, it's hard to be accurate with this guy, Akhmedov. Uh, he's, he's got such good head movement and he's got in perpetual motion. He's, uh, he's just not easy to, to pin down. see some and you, you see both guys really throwing some punches to off, offset each other and Akhmedov is throwing a big left hand right there catching Barrios just at the end of it Akhmedov a 2016 Olympian represented Turkey this is round 10 scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA World Super Lightweight Championship. Well, I think the Diaz brothers can smell uh, a, a win coming, uh, but you heard Virgil Hunter in the other corner. He says, we need these last three rounds, and I believe they do. Uh, you never know what the judges are scoring right now. You really don't, uh, but I will tell you this. Um, from our standpoint, uh, Barrios does need, and from Virgil's standpoint, need these last three rounds to win. 
He's just getting totally out hustled in the second half of this fight. He had a big edge early, but Akbedov has turned the tide. But Barrios needs to, to hold his ground a little bit better. Like, give him the shoulder a little bit. Well, right now, he's getting muscled on the inside. He's going to get warned by Jerry Cantu for using his head. Akhmedov is getting rough. He's putting his head right underneath the chin of uh, Barrios when he stands up straight. Four. This is where Barrios should actually hold his ground, put his hands up, and push Akhmedov back. Yeah, because this is not working for him right now. Yeah, then I just like that. But now when he does do that, if he's going to muscle up like that, he's going to have to do something of yeah. substance to, to, to hurt uh, uh, Akhmedov. He just can't, he's not going to out-hustle Akhmedov. He's got to hurt him. Akhmedov no. is definitely going to be the guy to win the hustle match here. Oh, there's a left by Akhmedov. That's Don Barrios. There's that head again. Barrios looked up at the uh, ref Jerry Cantu, who's refing a great fight, by the way. He's staying out of the fight, let these guys work for the most part. And uh, Cantu uh, didn't react to his uh, complaint. And Barrios is, is feeling a little bit about, around the eye. You know, when, you're, when your eye's bleeding and you're in a tough fight like this, you, you, you feel kind of drained a little bit. You feel like you're losing it because you're bleeding. And it can weigh a, a little on your, on your head. Were you cut very often, Lennox? No, no, no. Yeah, a couple, oh. a couple times. That went by a battle on Stunt Barrios. Yeah. Akhmedov there on the head again. Oh, big left hand by Akhmedov. He, he buzzed him, but look at Barrios coming back. Ten seconds left. Ask him if he can give you two rounds like that. Yes, yes, sir. Ask him if he can give you two rounds like that. Let's go, baby. You ain't champion. He don't want no more. 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 But here, let's go get him, baby. He's done. The same way. World champion, but here, who's the world champion? You. you. Let's go get you him. You want to be world champion? You want to be world champion? It's yes. your night, baby. Let's go. You're night, baby. You're okay. Champion. Wake up. Okay. He's Wake up. Head, head. Finish him. Oh. That. The Vaseline. I got us on the face. Good job. Go. Let's go, but here. Two rounds. The same as this one. Hey, hey. All right. Here we see a double left hook by Akhmedov. Inside, taking advantage. Yeah, that definitely hurt him. In his corner, the Diaz brothers asking who wants to be the world champion. Boy, all in unison, right? Yes. I mean, they're really pumping uh, Akhmedov up, uh, up right now because, you know, they, they see that he's just a hair away from winning this world title. Now, I will tell you, Jerry Cantu, the referee, came over there and warned Akhmedov to watch his head. So the last thing he wants to do is have a point taken away from him. That might mean the difference in this fight. One point, you never know. So Akhmedov's got to be careful about any headbutts. Good right hand from Akhmedov right there. But he's got the momentum, and the Diaz brothers can smell this title. Akhmedov fighting into the 11th round for the first time in his professional career. Barrios for the second time in his 25 pro bounce. They're both landed punches here, but Akhmedov is hit the volume of punches is really two to three times more than what Mario Barrios is doing. A good left hand again by Akhmedov, and right there again. Yeah, Barrios is having trouble with the southpaw right now. Very much so. They, they, look. 
Southpaws are inherently difficult to begin with, but you've got a, a, a total perpetual moving machine right here that is uh, uh, very compact and accurate and makes it all the worse. And I know Virgil Hunter in the other corner is probably seeing this fight slip away from him and has got to be very, very disturbed about that right now. Rex, what's impressed you the most about Akbedov over these last five or six rounds? And just the volume of punches that he's throwing, and he's able to he's able to get inside and throw the punches and connect with the punches. There, you know, there's not too much defense from Darius right now, and he's, he's making him look good. Final minute, round 11. Uh, we've, uh, we've watched Mario Barrios before, and, and we've never seen anybody really just uh, deconstruct him like this right now. And, uh, for a guy with seven fights, Akhmedov is really doing a hell of a job. You know, part of the reason is that Barrios, after throwing his combination, he kind of relaxes, he puts his hands down and not realize that this guy's got quick feet, can get in there, and when he's throwing punches at him, he's not throwing one punch, he's throwing like three, four punches. So he's getting caught with at least three punches out of the four punches that he's throwing. Yeah, there's just no escaping not that off right now. He's, he's, he's really all over Barrios. And he's basically getting inside and doing a lot of work. If he, he, is, paying off. he is. And, and if, if Akhmedov has another round like this, he's going to be champ of the world. Yes. Here we go. There, there's that little left uppercut from the first round on him. Barrios had a good first half. There's a nice right hand that he landed right there. And look, and there's, oh, the, that, there's the knockdown, that double hook. This is when Barrios is, is strong in the first few rounds and he's throwing some good combinations. But like I said, remember, he's throwing his combinations and he's leaving his hands down. This is the this is the round with the cut. This is where this is where the cut happens in this round. And as, as you can see, Barrios is putting his hands up a little bit. Well, and, from, you know... Yeah, at, at this point, it was all uh, Akhmedov, right, Lennox? Yeah, Ak yeah, Akhmedov is just like a freight train coming in, throwing a hundred punches at one time. Right? And, you know, switching back. Well, Mario Barrios told us yesterday, and we mentioned it earlier, I am prepared for a hard 12-round fight. Well, well he, here we go. Well, you know what 12. they say, be careful what you wish for, baby, because he got one. We check in once again with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Viegas. Kenny, the mental strength of Akhmedov to come back from that knockdown in round number four to win practically every single round since then, 105 to 103. He, he's back in this fight. He's winning in, in my end. He's just been a buzzsaw so far, really breaking down Barrios and just outworking him. All right, so Marcos gave the first four rounds to Barrios, guys, and the last seven to Akbenov. There goes that head again. He better be careful because Jerry Cantu uh, is is warned him twice. So, you know, you got to be careful on that. As, as, as uh, Marcos' score showed, it's a close fight on his card. You can't afford to have a point taken away from you in the last round, especially here. Good right hook by Akbenov right there. Well, he's just bulldozing Mario Barrios right now. Uh -oh. Two minutes remaining. Impressive comeback over these last eight rounds by 28-year-old Batir Akbenov in only his eighth pro fight. And Barrios' face is really banged up. I mean, it's swollen. He's cut. It's swollen. Yeah, um, because he's getting he's getting hit with shots that he thinks he's he, he doesn't well he actually doesn't see he's getting shots from shots he, he doesn't see and then with this eye problem right now it, it makes him a little bit blind because he's you know he's put that left hand high trying to protect it but he's getting hit with other shots like that one which is a left hook those roundhouse punches you can't really see if your eyes puffed up a little bit. Yep, and, and especially a, a right hook coming from the southpaw. You know, it's usually the straight right hand coming from that side. They've got a hook coming from that side now if it's a southpaw, which is even worse. Well, both guys are a little banged up, but I got to tell you, right now, Akhmedov is just running forward at Mario Barrios without, without a care and is just on a mission right now. 
Barrios had things under control early on Marco's scorecard. He won the first four rounds. But it has been all on Medoff ever since. Open up that punt over the left eye of Barrios in the seventh round. Down to 30 seconds remaining. Oh! 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 That may be let, the difference in this fight. Let me tell you, that was a shot. I'll tell you, that could really be the big difference. In that this that is the big difference right there. Mario said, Arkmetov, go the distance. Wow. Well, I talked about a point that it might come from the headbutt, but that point's going to come from that knockdown. This is the knockdown right here. He sets it up with a, a jab. As he's coming in, he catches him right on the chin. And here's the same punch. Boom. Yep. Akhmedov kind of let down his guard a little bit right there, and he was too far away when he let that hook go. Barrio stepped back, came back in with the right hand. And it was, it was basically just a short right hand. Boom. Yep. You know, sometimes those are the best. And he, you know, he was using the biomechanics right there. But Right, but you called it. You said he needs to start punching short punches, and that was about as short as you can get right there. Beautiful right hand. Total punches landed and thrown in the last three rounds. Akhmedov outlanded Barrios 101 to 27. Three to one margin. Total power punches. So Barrios and Akhmedov go the distance. Barrios had knocked out his last eight opponents. Once again, we check the unofficial scorecard of Marcos Villegas. Kenny, I, I think that knockdown really saved uh, Mario Barrios from what would have been a loss uh, here tonight. Because of that, it gave him an extra point, and I have it actually a draw, 113 to 113. After Akhmedov won seven straight rounds on Marcos' scorecard. So Marcos, has scored a draw. What do you think, guys? Well, look, I, I, I think with the two knockdowns, you've got uh, you've got two two points if you're winning the round. Uh, and that's another thing you got to understand whether or not who was winning the round, and that point might be a little less effective if, let's say, Akhmedov was winning the round. Time for the decision. We head to the ring. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, for 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision here. The score totals. Judge at ringside, Zachary Young scores the bout 114-112. Tim Cheatham sees it 115 to 111. And Jeremy Hayes scores the bout 116 to 111. All three in favor of the winner. He is now the WBA Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Mario E. Azteca Barrios. Wow, yeah. Mario Barrios. Let me tell you. By unanimous decision, he's the new WBA World Super Lightweight Champion. Let me tell you, I wouldn't have been mad if this fight was a draw because uh, Mario was great in the first few rounds and Akhmedar was like, you know, he, he really rallied in the last five rounds and uh, my hat goes off to him.